So what I'm going to do here is um, simply create a new text box. Um, I've selected the text tool from the layers, oh, sorry, from the um, toolbox. And I'm going to change the color of the text um, just by changing the foreground color there. And I think I'll go for red because it stands out against this blue background. Now what I'm doing here is holding down Command Shift greater than to increase the size of this font. And I think I'd actually like to have that in um, all caps. And Command Shift greater than, I'm increasing the size once again. Now, when I'm working on a project like this, um, I like to keep um, the individual words of the poster in separate text layers. Um, so what I'm going to do here is um, grab my text tool, not the pen tool, grab the text tool, and create another separate layer with the word Libre. I'm going to make that a little, big, little bit bigger, just like that. And what I'm going to do now is just I'm um, using the arrow keys to um, move that layer a little bit higher. You'll see that I've got the two layers here. I'm going to select the word Nacho, um, drop down to the Layer Styles button at the bottom of the Layers palette, and select Stroke. Now what this enables me to do is to put a line around um, my text on the screen. So I'm going to change the color to white, and have a, have a three pixel stroke around the edge of that. I'm also going to do the same thing to the word Libre, but what I'm going to do instead is simply drag um, the, the stroke layer style while holding down the Option key and drop it upon the other layer. So now I've got a stroke around um, both of these text objects. I'm going to um, basically... Um, actually, before I go any further, I think I'll change this to uh, Condensed Black. Helvetic New Condensed Black. It's just a little bit heavier. Looks a bit more important, more movie, movie, movie poster-ish. And I'm going to have to mess around with um, the text objects here. Once again, selecting the Move tool and using the arrow keys to nudge it up and down. Now here, what I'm going to do is uh, type in a you know a suitably cheesy uh, tagline for the film. Uh, I'm going to have to reduce the font size, of course. Um, because I have a huge font size there, so we'll drop it down to 36 and this Padre is mad as hell. I don't know why I find that so amusing. And once again command shift greater than to increase the size of that font. Hold down the option key and drag the layer style onto this new layer and now I've got a stroke around the outside. Whoops, forgot to hold down the option key. There we go, that's better. Actually, it's not. We'll try that again. Dr hold down the option key, drag it, and drop it. There we go. And now we've got a stroke around all of the text on the page so far. Of course, it's a little bit too thick, so I might double click on that layer style and maybe make it two pixels instead of three. Move it around with the move tool a little bit. And now I'll add um, the name of our star at the top of the page as well. I'm keeping this fairly um, simple. I'm keeping it fairly flat. Uh, I, I want to make it look as um, simple as possible. I could have added some um, drop shadows and things like that to the text, but ultimately I want it to be a very low budget film. And I don't know why I keep typing in lowercase. That's right, let's put in uppercase. Okay. Once again, um, to copy that um, layer style, I'm going to go over to my layers palette, drag the stroke layer style while holding down the option key and drop it on my new layer to copy it. And there we go. Most of the stuff that I'm going to be doing today requires um, brushes and um, filters that are in Photoshop. You don't need to um, buy any third party party products. Um, but one thing I'm going to use today is a font that I really like um, called Movie Ratings and Formats. Um, and you can find that font um, at this URL. It's a free font. And I, I could have 
found an image on the web, but I'm just going to use this font instead. So what I'm going to do is um, select movie ratings and formats from my font menu. I'm going to change the, the size, perhaps. No, the size is pretty good. And I'm going to put in a PG-13 logo. Make the text box just a little bit larger. Hit enter and use the move tool just to position that beneath the title of the film. Okay, I'm going to need a picture of my star, of course, on the poster. And to get this picture of the star, what I'm going to do is take an image of Jack Black um, from the film. To go to File, Open, and take the uh, one of the Nacho Libre posters. Now, what I want to do is just isolate um, Jack Black. So I'm going to use the Crop tool to start off with. Select an area, hit Enter, and... All I need to do now is go to Filter and Extract. And I love the Extract filter. If you grab the Marker tool using the square bracket buttons to change the size of your brush, what you need to do is trace around the outline of the object that you want to extract. This is a really, really cool way of doing it. It, it beats the heck out of the uh, Magic Wand tool. Now I'm going to speed this up a little bit and jump ahead in time in a moment. Um, to finish off drawing around here because I'm using a track, trackpad and it's frustratingly slow. What you've got to do is try and get as close to that edge as you can. What I'm going to do now is grab the paint bucket tool and just fill this area. Now the blue area is the area you want to keep. The green line indicates the uh, line around the edge. So I've now extracted it just by hitting enter. I'm going to select all go to edit, copy, close this document because I don't need it anymore, and paste this into um, my the smart object in my movie poster. I'm going to go to edit, free transform, and just resize that image and, and stick it in the middle of the page like that. Might make it a little bit smaller. Just once again, using the handles um, of when I free transform the object. Okay, 